Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. This is Old Car Auto Guy. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. If you've been here before, hey, welcome back. So I want to give a huge shout out to Budget Panther Fan as well as Panther Platform on Instagram. Both of these guys have reached out to me and given me a heads up on something that I've been having trouble with because they asked me if my car had been recalled. I'll tell you all about it, so stay tuned. So you guys all know that I have been outfitting my car with some last fit LED lights and I just got notification today that the extra lights that I had to order from the last video that I did some lighting on, uh, they've come in so I'll be heading over to pick those up and we'll get that done hopefully in this video and finish up everything on the exterior. In that video I was asked by Budget Panther Fan if I had gotten the recall notice on the lighting control module for my 04 Mercury Grand Marquis and I had not. And then that's when Panther Platform had jumped in there and we all started talking and I was going to find out. So I came into work first thing this morning and I called the local Ford dealer and checked to see if my car had a recall. Sure enough, it did. And guess what it was? It was the lighting control module. And the reason why I'm bringing this up now is because just this weekend, and actually last night on my way home from the campground, it was dark. My high beams didn't work. I thought for sure it had something to do with the last fit bulbs immediately I wanted to start blaming them because that's the only thing that I had changed on the car. Come to find out after a little bit of research and that quick phone call and these guys giving me a heads up without them even knowing I was having an issue. Come to find out there is a recall on an 03 to 05 Crown Vic Marauder and Grand Marquis on the lighting control module. So they've ordered one for me. They'll have it tomorrow. Hopefully I can send the car down sometime this week and get that fixed so I can have my high beams back. Anyways, thank you guys for giving me that heads up and saving me a ton of money. I got looking online to see what these things cost and in the aftermarket, they are in the five to $600 range. No bueno. So thank you for saving me a few bucks. Ford, thank you for issuing the recall. And guys, just because a manufacturer offers a recall on your vehicle, it's not a bad thing. They're coming good for something that could have been far more catastrophic. These cars, you can actually lose your entire headlights. So it's a good thing that we're getting these recalls looked after. So having said all that, once again, thank you to Budget Panther Fan, as well as Panther Platform for giving me the heads up. You guys rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now on to the rest of this video. So if I haven't mentioned it already in any of my vlogging, we now have a McDonald's here in St. Stephen. And it's great because I can get McDonald's coffee in the morning. I love McDonald's coffee. Where a Big Mac meal cost me just $10 Canadian. If I'd have gone to Callus to get a Big Mac meal, it's like $11.75. So it pays to stay home and spend your Canadian money in Canada. Thank you. Big Mac, no pickles and great. fries. Thank you. And just like that, golden. So guys, now that we've got supper out of the way, it is time to install the remaining exterior LED lights from LastFit. So we've got two more for the rear. We've got these two, which are going to be our cornering lights. And I'm not going to go through all the boring details of me tearing everything apart one more time because you've already seen that in the last episode. So we're going to go and do it and then we'll come back once they're in and give you a uh, look at what they look like and then we'll come back show you just how bright they really are. So before we get back to the LED lights, I figured it's time to fix the leaky heater core. And basically all we did was we put a bypass in the heater hose line so it just recycles itself again into the system rather than going back into the car because it's leaking there. We took our air hose and blew out any antifreeze so it doesn't leak inside the car. 
So we're gonna get this backed out so that we can get it warmed up the temperature without filling the garage full of exhaust fumes. And as you can see, we don't have far to go. We're about uh, halfway up to normal. And once that reaches the halfway point, then we'll know that the vehicle is up to temperature. We'll top off the antifreeze and then we'll be good to go to our next stop, which is the last car show of the season at Rockwood Park. That's right, where we get to get the car back on the dyno. So you're not gonna wanna miss that episode either. But before we can do that, we need a working tack. That's the problem we had last year, was our tack didn't work. I didn't know where to stop revving. Uh, I spoke to a couple of people and a lot of them seem to think 55 to 5800 RPM is probably peak uh, for this small block Chrysler. And uh, that's probably the goal. We'll start off with maybe a 5000, then maybe go to 55 or 53. and Because they generally will give you three pulls. And if you recall last year, we peaked out at 191 at 4500 RPM. Speaking of LED lights, have you seen the LED lights on the old Mopar? So we've got this old girl up to temperature. I think maybe we'll take her for a ride around the block and bring her back home and then get the mess cleaned up. So. Before we do that, so by the time we get that done, it should be plenty dark enough to show you the lights on old grandma. So we were able to give the old Mopar a good run, stretch her legs a little bit, got it up to temperature. Everything seems to be fine, nothing's leaking, and uh, especially right here where we did the union. And tomorrow, once it cools down, we will double check the uh, fluid level once again. So now it's time to close out the video and see the final outcome of all these new LED lights on Grandma. And there we have it, LED, LED, and LED and back here we now have two tail lights that will be LED and super super bright backup lights grandma's license plate light all the park lights are all LED from last fit auto and I don't know about you but who needs cornering lights when you've got turn signals that are that bright anyway so guys, as we stand here outside the garage, I hope that you can see me okay. And just one last reminder that this video is sponsored by Last Fit Auto. Their website is right here and you can go there and get your very own assorted array of LED park lights, turn signal lights, license plate lights, fog lights, whatever your vehicle takes, I guarantee you Last Fit has the answer for you. If you use promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10, you'll get 10% off your order and they do have some sales going on now. So go over there and check them out. Guys, also don't forget that Straight Six fan and myself, not only do we have a live stream on Thursday evenings, coming to you soon on the 19th of September, we are also in a little bit of a contest to see who can gain the most subscribers between now and the end of September. As of right now, I've got them beat by a few and I'm hoping to count on you guys, those of you who are watching me right now who don't yet subscribe. I would encourage you to do so right now and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see you know what and if you don't like it give it a thumbs down either way it's interaction between me and you so that i know what you like one last thing before we go there was somebody who had asked me what the wheel and tire combination was on grandma and i will tell you they are 245 45 18. the wheels themselves are off of a 2011 Ford Mustang and I will say 100% there were zero modifications that have to be done they bolted right on there are no clearance issues no spacers required none of that just found the wheels bought the tires put them on done you don't have to worry about anything I hope that answers your question for those of you in the comments who are asking guys stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror I love you all God bless let's do it again real soon